And even if you are standing uh, ramrod still, I mean, you know, like attention, you know, like a soldier, and you are standing, you know, as a prisoner of war, I mean, that's what they regard you as being, the white supremacists do. So you stand at attention. I mean, you know, look straight ahead. Don't say nothing. I mean, because you've been told, stand, stand at attention, boy. Stand at attention. Straighten up, you know. Stare in the space. Let me walk around and check you out. All right? Well, you're a prisoner of war. Do that. I mean, do that. I do that. I will do that in a minute. I'll continue to do that. I know where I am. I don't play games because then I know they're not playing with me. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? We think that this is some kind of schoolyard uh, dispute between our good buddies. I mean, you know, I mean, no, this is a war, folks. Black people of the entire world, you're prisoners of war. And if you think you're somewhere else in La La Land or someplace in Oz, in Shangri-La, in paradise, in heaven, you're greatly in error. Greatly. And all of the evidence shows this. Mm -hmm. It keeps repeatedly showing us. But many of us don't seem, uh, well, I can't make a criticism. I'm just saying we fuss. We fight, we flee. Like this is just a little misunderstanding between friends. And so I ain't paying no attention to you. I'm going home, you know. Uh, you know, hey, I'm, you know, I got things to do. I don't have time to be bothered with you. You, you telling me to don't, don't move and, and get out of the car. And I ain't doing none of that. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I, I know my rights. And, hey, hey, hey. You're black. You're in a prison camp designed to do great harm to anybody of color. That's who you are. You were born in this prison. Don't forget that not for three seconds. Hmm. Or you just might not be doing anything at all tomorrow. Well, the white supremacists claim by their actions that they are supreme and they have said some of them back in the old days they just said it outright uh there's an expression that just about covers it all god made white people to serve god now this is what a white supreme a person who said he was a white supremacist uh -huh. said, said hey said people uh you know they, they act like they don't understand our philosophy. We're going to make it clear. And at least one of them, I mean, sometimes they have differences themselves about how they express themselves. And so you can just listen to that and sort out the differences. But at least one of them said back in the 19, as far back in the 1940s and 50s, he said, look, it's not complicated. God made white people to serve God and made Negroes, only he said the N-word, Yes, to serve white people. And all this stuff about whose land is whose and all like that, he said, forget about that. God made white people to serve God and made these black people to serve white people. And if everybody just shut up and leave it alone, everybody will be happy. Uh -huh. And we'll ha and this will make the paradise on earth that we should have. I mean, just let it stay that way, and let it get more that way, and keep it that way, and it'll be the way it ought to be. And that everybody who's trying to do something different, it is our duty to see to it that they don't do anything different, uh -huh. because God made white people to serve God, and made all these dark-skinned people to do whatever white people tell them to do and shut up about it. Now, that takes care of the land and everything else. I mean, just that philosophy alone, it explains everything. But black people will listen to that and say, he can't mean that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he means that. He means that. She means that. And they have proven that they mean it.
So all this stuff about we built the pyramids and, and our ancestors came from this place, that doesn't mean anything to a white supremacist. Boy, I don't care where you are from. When you run into me, you do what I say. Do you understand that? And if you don't understand it, I can make you understand it because you fell on you. Mm -hmm. You think that a pyramid fell on your head after I get through with you. Wow. Talking about you built the pyramids. Mm -hmm. What I care about whatever you built. Mm -hmm. You do what I tell you to do and everything will be right in line. As long as you do what I tell you to do, no problem. If I tell you to change your sex, change it. If I tell you to go up there and jump off that cliff, jump. Yes. Okay. Whatever I tell you to do. Why? Because I'm doing my God's will. What about your God? You must have a pretty weak one. You black people always talk about you got some kind of God. Your God ain't got nothing for me. Hmm. Um, I'm a white supremacist.